Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. Hello, Internet video watchers. I'm Veronica Belmont reporting from CES 2013, and I am joined by Jonathan here at the Lenovo booth. Uh, now, you are the creator of the Mondo Spider standing behind us here, but why is this at the Lenovo booth? Well, we brought it down here to try and share the message that we're sending with these machines, which is to show people that you can do creative, interesting things with engineering, and that if you put your mind to it, you can build whatever you like. Now, this is obviously a, an amazing piece of engineering. Uh, how did it come about? Uh, it actually has a pretty long history. We built it back in 2006, uh, originally to bring to Burning Man. And uh, that was supposed to be just a one-off art project, and it's since taken on a whole life of its own. It's been traveling the, the continent ever since. Mm -hmm. Now, what's it made of exactly? Where did you get the parts and pieces? It's all custom engineered from the ground up. So all of the chassis and the legs are designed from scratch and built with uh, steel. And then a lot of the hydraulic components and bearings and chains and sprockets came from a farm equipment supply store. And what does it run on? It runs on lithium iron phosphate batteries. It's 100% electric. It was originally gas back in 2006, back when the technology didn't really exist, but now it's zero emissions. So now you just have to make it a solar spider, and it's a totally green battle bot of some kind. Well, actually, we, we, we have a mobile solar array that we tow around with it. Yeah, we got a three kilowatt solar array that we can charge it with and uh, have a completely closed loop, solar powered, zero emissions machine. So now what do you primarily use it for? Is it just for showcasing the technology or do you do anything fun with it? Well, I mean, we'd love to go and just plunder the backwoods with it, but uh, it's, a, it's a prototype and it needs a lot of nursing and a lot of attention. So we take it to music festivals, science fairs, schools. Uh, it's, it's fallen under the umbrella of an organization that we founded called Eat Art, which is uh, an educational arts charity in Canada that we uh, use to try and promote and uh, demonstrate clean energy technology with these machines. So how, are the, how do the controls work exactly? What do, you, what, do I have to know anything special if I wanted to take this thing for a test drive? Uh, well, there's certain, certain safety concerns, like you got eight feet to watch, so you want to make sure you don't step on anyone's toes. But the, the controls are quite straightforward. It's like driving a tank. So, you know, the last time you... Oh, of course, yes. I'm, I'm very well versed in the art of tank driving. <laughs> I thought that was common knowledge. Uh, maybe a bulldozer? No. Tank two, probably would be more accurate. Yeah, okay. Two, it's, it's got two levers. You push them both forward, it goes forward. You pull them both back, it goes back. You put them in opposite directions, and it'll start turning on the spot. Excellent. Well, I think it's time for me to take a little test drive. How about it? All right. Saddle up. I don't want to run you over. Can I take this back to my hotel? That was absolutely amazing, and I didn't manage to maim or kill anyone in the process, so that's always a plus. At CES 2013, I'm Veronica Belmont. For more videos, head over to revision3.com slash CES or youtube.com slash techhd. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.